What is this? Ficking bricks starting a pre hauling and balling stream? What is this? I don't even know what to say. It's me. It's Ficking Bricks. It's Dr. Lucky. Cold Water Bricks is in the house. You guys saw the title Lego Asylum Reorganization. Dogs are upstairs going crazy. You can hear them going nuts. Um, I, I don't know why they're going nuts. They're barking like crazy up there. But what's up, Bubba Bricks? I figured I'd jump on real quick, pre hauling and balling, give you guys about an hour of my time. I'm going to run this thing till about 6 30. Hopefully, I'm not calling into anybody, cutting into anybody's uh, stream time. So I don't think anybody was on. I didn't see anybody popping on the stream. So I'm going to just hang out with you guys for a little bit. We can chat it up. Um, I'm not going to talk about anything hauling and balling right now because we got a lot to talk about on the show tonight. Again, that's at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. LDM Bricks, what's going on? I'll give you guys a little pan out, see, show you what I've been doing down here. It doesn't look like much, I'll be honest with you. This is all going to stay right now. This is all staying insane. The backdrop's not going to change. I'm not going to touch anything back here for now just because I just don't want to for now. I'm just going to leave that the same. That might change eventually once I get this part taken up over here. But what I've been doing today, I got most of the squeaky dogs man it's squeaky dogs i got most of the no, i shouldn't say most of the sealed sets i made about 10 trips upstairs to the excuse me to the uh upstairs like third floor of the house from the basement three floors two floors i don't know it's going up i had to go up like eight sets of stairs flash pants what's going on brother how you doing um but i took out all this most of the sealed sets out of here i'm gonna show you guys that in a little bit show you that in a couple seconds there's still a lot of sealed sets out there um in the in the thing here I'm trying to clear this little area over here, clearing this section out. But what I have done today, and I had a box of all my CMFs. Guess poo, happening tonight. But what I've started to do, and I don't know if this is the best way. It's probably not the best way. If anybody's got any uh, more efficient ideas out there. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, cold water. See, I told you I have a wrestling shirt. Every week's going to be a new wrestling shirt for, I don't know, 12, 12, 13 shows. So there it is. You made the list. You just made the list, people. Um, but if any guys have any uh, better ideas out there, let me know. Because what I've been doing right now, honestly, is just bagging. I've just been little bagging all of these by, but these are all CMF. So I got a shoe box full, and it's I don't have any room down here. That's unfortunately that's the that's my problem. Is there's no room down here to display any of the CMF stuff until I get walls and nice ceilings and floors and you know nice rugs and some fixtures and some shelves and stuff like that so this right here is probably my best option right now to keep everything organized it was in a uh, box from work a cardboard box from work now mr h what's going on brother how you doing man welcome to the lego asylum reorganization stream so Craigan ricker what's going on brother how you doing my friend what's going on so this is what i started to do today um so every cmf that i have is getting a little bag so every cmf's get a little bag if i have doubles of that cmf like the old uh ninjago guy who is, I always, who's that guy come on i geez i'm drawing a blank here who is it this is a uh, garmadon sorry Blech, drawing a blank there garmadon so i have two garmadons so i put them in a bigger bag so i just put them in a bigger bag so double figs if i had any like doubles of a fig I threw them in a bigger bag just so I can keep them organized. Two of the uh, video game player guys here. So I threw those in, a, in one bag together. So this is how I'm doing it for now. This this right here is fill of all CMF stuff. Um, this is CMFs, like I said, from like Series 9 to current. Not all of them, obviously, because they all wouldn't fit in here. Um, but we go some more CMF stuff in here. So I got two... Eh, one and a half right now of all CMFs. And then I got a couple series of CMFs at my office. So I got to bring those home, bag those bad boys up. And then this is just, this is just rando, rando figs right now. Um, just as you can see, we got old pirates in here. We got everything in here. City, horses. I got some dimensions discs on the bottom there. I'm not sure why. Oh, that's the uh, Doctor Who guy. Doctor Who guy. I am not sure. These might be some ropes for some pirate ships down there. But this is just kind of a little bit of everything. Actually, I don't even think everything's ba bagged up in here. It looks like there's, I don't know what that is. But that's not bagged. That's not bagged up in the bottom here. But this is all, um, this is all uh, just rando right now. This is complete rando. I got some uh, space figs in here. Complete, complete rando. Random right now. Um, I don't know. 
that's that was one of the questions, Flash Pants. I'm not sure because I started while well, I was going to show you guys while I was doing this here. I started to bag up my Harry Potter. So I'm thinking that the, the best way for me to do this is probably by theme. I'm thinking by theme. Do CMF in one, you know, a couple shoe boxes, and then do theme, uh, themes in each other shoe box, shoe box because I, I don't have many Harry Potter. Um, it's probably going to fill up this. I just started this little shoe box here. So it'll probably fill up this little shoe box here of Harry Potter figs. We got some Harry Potter figs. If anybody's got Harry Potter hair, cold water. If you got Harry Potter hair, let me know. I need a couple of the Harry Potter hair. So we got some, we got some bald Harry Potters here. I, got, I think I got at least two or three. I thought I have some more Harry Potter hair, but I don't have any Harry Potter hair. So I got a couple of missing Harry Potter heads, Harry Potter hair there. So, um, but that's what I'm trying to do right now. So I figured I'd start with the minifigs and then work my way because, um, as you can see, I have this box here is, this is filled with, this is all minifigs here. So I got, I got Jabba hanging out here. So that's my Jabba, but I got like this, this bag right here. No, that's no, okay. No problem. Cold water. I figured I'd ask while you're in the chat. Uh, so we got, um, Indiana Jones and actually Indiana Jones and some, uh, CMF stuff here. There's some CMF stuff in here that I got to take out of there. Um, we got old troll stuff, some troll figures here that uh, we got the um, the little um, the sheep, the goats are in there too. I got some goats. I got from that uh, um, windmill set from the old windmill set. So I got some big old trolls. I got some gray horse in there. Gray horse is pretty cool. Um, Complete randos. I think this is like a lot of city randos. I got ghosts in the bottom here. So this was you guys saw one of these I did on the uh, one of my ficking bag o figs. Uh. Yeah, that's where that's where I got those. I got them actually. I get them from Walmart, but I think they're the same bags. I think they're the two by three. I think they're the same kind of style bags that I've been using. Um, I got two sizes. I got the little size like this one here, like I was showing you, and then I got the one up from that, which is a bigger one. Uh, just like this, yeah, this size here. So I got two different size bags. You get like five, I think it's a thousand for like a couple bucks. So 60 shoebox size tubs for all my Lego organ. See, that's perfect, Mr. A. That's what I'm talking about. That's where I'm hoping to get. I'm going to get there eventually. This is all random uh, Harry Potter pieces here. I got all random Harry Potter pieces here. Uh, some more Star Wars. I got some, I got tons of Star Wars. I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to individually bag up Star Wars because. I just have way too many figs, and I don't know if that's a really great idea. We got some more randos here, just some complete randos. I don't know what I'm going to do with the random figs. I might have a city just bin. I might just throw them all in a, in a shoebox and not even bag the city figs. And then there's everybody. There's Darth Hall's favorite. I got I to gotta get rid of these to give these to Darth Hall because I got a bunch of these Chima figs in the bottom here. All the fire and water, and then we got his war tour, we got his speed or bike or whatever the heck this poly bag was this thing in there so i got a little bit of that down here so there's a little bit of everything but again i figure i got I had to start somewhere i started bringing up all the sealed sets upstairs um and that was a chore in and of itself i got see i got little i got little bins of just figs over here next to me here so this again the star wars is going to be i don't know if i can really do individually bag all the star wars so and i got like like this guy hanging out here we got original watto there we go old one to one color watto there in the junkyard set 7186 so yeah flash pants i'm gonna give those to uh, i'm gonna give those to darth hall take have him take a look at them see what he wants to do with them um so yeah so that's what, i mean again i i got i find like the random like i got city figs from sets that you know, like my modulars and stuff like that. I'm just going to bag these up. I might not ever bag them. I just may shoebox these things up and just put them in. Because once I, if I ever, I'm going to need the sets. To, you know, the obviously all the modular figures for each sets. These aren't the modular figures for the sets because they did, oh, up until now they didn't have faces. But you get what I mean. I got a lot of just random city figs that I got to. Hans, Pirate, Pirate Hans, Mole Man. There he is, Pirate Hans. Yeah, I can give them the BOT too. I can give them the, but again, it's just like, like, I mean, this, this bag here, this is just randos. I mean, I have so many random, like just many things sitting around my area here. It's, it's crazy. So again, I got to get crazy. X21, you the man hanging out with me. There you go. You saw it on the Instagram. You probably didn't see it on the Instagram, but there it is. 
got those bad boys. Actually got those yesterday. Picked them up in the mail today. So thank you very much. Uh, X21, you're the man. I appreciate it. Good, good stuff. Ah, sure. LDM Bricks, you got it, man. You got it. Just, we'll, we'll trade that right up. We'll definitely trade that right up. Um, then you can, I can trade you to Stewie at football head too. My Stewie football head. So, all right. So basically that's pretty much all I was doing right now. Again, um, I made a little spot over here. I made a little area over here. I, I'll show you guys, but it's, it's really hasn't, nothing has really changed because I kind of, again, started to move all the sets out from back there, which I did a little bit. Oh, you guys can see this. I actually, I actually got a little bit of cleaned up there. Let me, I can show you guys this a little bit here. So remember that, that, that roll right there, see that middle shelf there was filled with sets, sealed sets, and now they're not there. So that's pretty good. The Ghostbusters HQ is right over there somewhere. It's not there anymore. Those are all right. Can't get there. Uh, right there. Those are all filled with poly bags. Those are all my poly bag drawers right in there. So those, those six drawers are all filled with poly bags there. So... But again, it is a continued work in progress. I did get actually, I did do pretty well because I actually did get down here today, which was which was great. I actually got had a chance to come down here today and kind of hang out and start moving some stuff around, which is good. Which is always good. You got you got to start somewhere. And again, I started moving the go uh, oh, dark Snape. I started moving around the figs because I figured you know what if I if I start the sealed sets. I can I can take the sealed sets upstairs anytime. It's this tchotchke onesies and twosies that are hanging out here that I can't. Uh, um, that you you got to get organized. You have to get this other crap organized before because this the box sets, the sealed sets. I mean that that stuff I can take upstairs and in a in, in heartbeat. It's the little stuff that's in these totes and like this thing here. Like I got this thing hanging out on the side of me here in this blue container which is X-21's Hamleys. We'll show you what's in the tote. I haven't done what's in the tote in a while. I got a uh, base plate, raised base plate from the, I believe this is from that uh, 1994 monorail. I want to say it's from that monorail set. Makes sense. I think that's pretty much it. I got pug poly bags. We got DJ poly bags. I got a poster from Clutch that I don't have any even open yet. I don't even know which one this is. I got to get a... a frame for this one I, i'm not sure which one this is but um might be the space uh i don't even know maybe we'll open that up in a little bit too um what else i got more hamleys i got the original run of hamleys from mx21 we got christmas poly bags we got that so we got that in here we got christmas poly bags i took a couple of the vip sets in here a couple of the vip sets in the bag i don't know what this is this is just that could be a Star Wars. I don't know. This could be Star Wars pieces. It could be a Star Wars ship. Looks like Star Wars colors. Star Wars ship to me. Um, yeah, you know what? I X twenty or X twenty one, Mister H. That's where I'm going, man. I honestly, and it's a shame that I I can say this, but I can honestly say this though that when I come down here on a Sunday and I look around and it's so disorganized, I I. I just get overwhelmed. I really do. I get overwhelmed and I don't want to do anything. If I can get this area cleaned out over here and then work that over into the city over around the corner here, I think I can, um, I think I'll get my build back on. I'll start wanting to build again. There's just, you can't build in this sort of uh, environment. There's too much chaos. There's too much chaos going around. There's crap everywhere and you don't want to, oh, um, and it's just unorganized, and you just you just can't build when it's so unorganized. Uh, actually, I think the Lester's were in there too. I don't think I dug deep enough. Uh, let me see. Yep, there you go, brother. There's the Lester's right in that same right in that same bin, my friend. Same bin. There's my friend Lester with his cane and with his little umbrella and everything. So there we go. Hey, trust me, man. If I I need people to start start, start sorting my uh, bulk too, I. Uh, I definitely is. and it is it is Mr. H and I know you can you can relate it, it it's tough it really is tough and I I tell this to BOT and BR all the time um it's it's just hard because when I get down here I get down here on a Sunday and I'm on down here on a Sunday from and usually I'll get down here right about now five to six Eastern Standard Time you know and I just hang out and I'm like just looking around and I'm, this is this is this, this is what you see like when you 
you you you think oh pick and breaks man he's just chilling blah 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 no this is what i see i see all this crap around me and it's it's just overwhelming i need to set up like b for c has what i need because what's up b for c how you doing i saw you popping in the chat i said talk up b for c right now because he's got a couple two rooms upstairs and it's all cool it's all organized and everything's got a place for itself and he can just build that's what i need i need to get rid of a lot of this sealed stuff and just put it away upstairs get it out of the way declutter this whole area and then i can start to build and get back to the roots get back to why i started back in the lego a couple years back so and it was for building it wasn't for buying it wasn't for you know investing it wasn't for making tons of money obviously it was for building my love of the build that's what it was for so that's what i'm trying to get back into guys so hopefully you guys can you know fuel off my passion here you guys know i'm passionate about lego i love lego lego's awesome freaking awesome it's good stuff i love doing these live streams too with you guys um and that, that's pretty much about it again once i get all this and i'll take you guys in a quick little little shot of what i deal with on a on a haul and a balling basis here so table right here this is the table that sits to my immediately to my right with all this crap on it i got an old sega genesis down here um, in the corner over here this is really bts man behind the scenes guys there's all my my uh star wars set, uh, figs over there my potter figs up there um, there's my tv that i never use that has the old nintendo 8-bit hooked up as well as the genesis that i showed you guys um there's the old creator uh, light, lighthouse down there that i still have to put back together because i borrowed pieces from it for another build um and then this is this is the crap pile on this side that you guys don't ever see and that's this is the what i was just showing you guys but the but again i'm surrounded I, i'm starting to clean this this that's actually a, good over there because you can actually see the rug in here you can actually see the rug over here which is good because i'm actually building i'm pulling them getting out of the out of being uh completely surrounded here and then that over there is the whole that's a whole other ball of wax over there that is the the bulk over there that's all the bulk stuff over there and then that's um all my classic sets are on that a lot of castle obviously you can see some yellow castles over there pirate ships uh there is cheap asses helms deep right over there in that bag right there that yellow bag um it will be it will be a great man cave there x21 as soon as i like i said man organization is the key um and it's just getting me down here a couple good three four five maybe ten times before the streams or on the weekends just throw a couple hours a day if i can get down here a couple hours a day start chunking away at this stuff and um just organizing you know sky's the limit for me i gotta if philly's coming up i wanted to get some builds done for philly i got two things i'm working on right now one couple mosaics one's complete one i'm just right it's behind me i'm waiting on pieces i'm not going to show you guys that to uh uh till late, later till it's done you guys will probably see that at philly anyway so i'll probably unveil those two at philly exactly b for c 99 problems an organization ain't one right oh man crazy i got a ninjago clock sitting there i got a freaking ninjago clock looking at me oh and that's not even to say this table here I, this this was my build table here that, that right there that right there was supposed to be my build table right there and then obviously as you can see the johnny thunder museum's on there part of cheap ass's home deep is in right there we got um tmx brick notes he sold me that uh cargo train the old nine volt cargo train that's right there um so there's just yeah dude we got the uh windmill down there the tur turbine set down there we got the space set that was my build table and now it's not for building it's for storage and it's for hoarding and not for long so we're gonna get rid of that we're gonna we're gonna take care of that and that's what i'm that's what i'm doing so Oh, the back, the back, uh, cold water. If I if I could get rid of ship that thing, you try, actually no, I don't. I kind of like her. I can actually kind of like her. She's kind of uh, kind of growing on me a little bit behind me there. And Bot, I know, had take took a shining to her too. So he, she's hang, he's hanging out right between the the uh, the horns up there. So ears, horns, whatever you want to call it. So, but all right, what did I just do here? Oh, Spirit Particles has a giveaway winner. You guys go check that out. Spirit Particles rocking and rolling there. Giveaway winner. I don't think anything else is going on here. I think I just got outbid on something though on eBay. Let me see. I think it's almost over. Uh, let's see what we got here. Did I lose? Oh, four minutes. Okay, four minutes. I'll have to pop that. We'll have to go a little higher on that one, then, I guess. Yeah, I'll see if we can win that. And I'll show you guys that too. Hopefully, I can show you guys that too. 
Oh, I got 10 text messages. What's this? Oh, cheap ass. Oh, cheap ass. Oh, boy. Cheap ass. Wow. Dang. That is crazy. Cheap ass is just finding finding stuff here. He doesn't probably even know I'm on streaming because he's out hauling and balling. So, all right. So, yeah, so that's kind of what I was doing here, hanging out. Um, again, I gotta, I'm got. i starting to uh, – where's all my bags? My, my bags are behind the – behind the uh, – you know, I don't see. I don't have many bags left already. I'm, oh, man, I'm low already. Dang. That is no bueno right there. I think I have more, but again, with organization comes, yeah, so it comes low, blow bags. And I think I have some more somewhere around here. Again, if I was organized, I'd know exactly where my bags were, and I am not. So, Yeah, you know what? Honestly, uh, cold water. That's a that's a great point. Um, I actually, it's the same head. That is the same head. I'm gonna put it in there. Um, we actually do have a water, uh, not a battery backup. We actually have a water backup in here, down in my basement here. So uh, hopefully it never does happen. Honestly, there's another good fig going in the bag there. Um, that's why I kind of have been moving in and on the Mrs. Mrs. Fig and Brick's uh, recommendation. That's kind of why I've been moving a lot of the sealed stuff upstairs just in case, you know, just for that reason. Because, again, a lot of this stuff, I it would I would never get the money back probably to replace some of the sets, especially some of the older ones that you can't find and that have been retired for a while. So that is a good point. Yan Shu, what's going on, Yan Shu? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm 100% with you, Cold Water. I, I, I've heard some, some horror stories, and it's, yeah. I do not want to be on the end of that, and I, I, I feel horrible for the people that have actually had to go through something like that and lose a basement. Or we actually lost a basement in a flood. In my old house, the house before this one, we uh, had that storm, that big storm in October of 2006, and the basement flooded. I had probably eight, ten inches of water in the basement, and thank goodness at that time I wasn't into Lego and I didn't have anything in down there. But it's, it's crazy. It's, it's definitely crazy, you know, and stuff. So. No, I, I definitely hear you, man, and I, and I know you're you're just looking out because it, it does happen, and it, it could happen quickly, without uh, without warning, and then, you know, you are in trouble. So. Got lucky yesterday. Oh, you got a pug, you got a pug poly bag, dollar nineteen, nice, Mister H, way to go, brother. Like it, like it. I actually got one too. Um, there's a story behind it, which I got. I will share with you guys on hauling and balling in another couple minutes here. Um, there is a story though behind my. Uh, my poly bags finding my my poly bag um recon whatever you want to call it so i did yeah i did end up picking up one uh, pug poly bag and i did find some of the pop, hot dog cart poly bags I, you guys probably saw it on instagram already but uh i do have a story behind that so tune in to set at seven o'clock there will be a funny story now maybe not it might not be actually funny but it's a story nonetheless so uh, see what cheap oh boy cheap ass is just blowing this up here all right what do we got oh boy yeah he's finding some crazy stuff wow all right well cheap ass might be having more for the uh for the grad sale at uh at philly let me see what i got here am i did i win did i win let's see oh it's down to seconds people it's down to seconds let me see if i won maybe i'll share with you guys what i won Dollar ninety nine. Yeah, they were a dollar nineteen. Which what? What's that? Put it down to seventy. Is that seventy percent off? I think. They had dollar ninety nine would have been fifty percent off, and then or third fifty. They were four three ninety nine. So yeah, so fifty. I think a dollar nineteen would have been seventy. But um, let's see what I got. Seven six. Oh, I, I'm gonna get sniped. I know I'm gonna get sniped. Did I win it? Oh, I think I won. Did I win? I don't know if I win. Come on, come on. Yes. All right, you guys will see that. That's fantastic. That's a good, that's a good pickup. Not a crazy great price, but but a good pickup nonetheless. Um, yeah, the hot dog carts are awesome. I got a I got a, a handful of them. I'm gonna put them in the city. Again, there's a story behind that whole thing tonight. So uh tune into Holland and Fallen in another hour. I'm gonna cut this in about a half hour. I like hanging out with you guys. So 
Um, and the construction crew bag, is that the one with the, uh, you're talking about the one from Walmart with the, uh, um, with that tile? Actually, I don't have any. I sent the ones I had to somebody special. So I had to, I got to pick up a couple more of those. Um, so those should be at Walmart. If, Mr. H, if you can't find them or anything, brother, if you want me to pick up a couple for you, I will do that. So just let me know. I can definitely hook you up with those if you can't find them or if they're not. I know a lot of the times there was a couple of poly bags that BOT couldn't find around Christmas time around his area. So he had to, had to reach out and I, we picked them up for him. So if you can't, uh, can't find them, let me know. I'll definitely take it, take, grab you a couple and send them out to you. Um, crap. I think that, you know what? I think I might be out of, oh boy. Yeah. The one, hold on. Yeah. The sign. Okay. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. That's, that's a cool poly bag. I do like that. I like that printed piece too. That printed piece is pretty sweet. You can definitely use that on a lot, a lot of city projects, a lot of city bills, a lot of city stuff a lot of stuff around the city crap and you know what i'm totally i think i'm totally out of those bags already see that's that's the part of i do have these big bags left but unfortunately i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bag up one fig in these big bags because that's that's just a waste of space with these so i have these i'm pretty positive that i probably have some more because when i buy them i usually buy them three and four at a time so i'm pretty sure i probably have some more down here but unfortunately that's just not right now. So got a couple little little Harry Potter guys hanging out that won't get bagged up tonight. But I may have to run to Walmart maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow. Now I'll run to Walmart tomorrow because we're off President's Day. So we're off. So I'm gonna go get some more little baggies tomorrow. And I'm sure I'll probably find some. Actually, you know what? They may be in my duffel bag from Philly. So let me see because I know I put some in there from Philly. They're still in here. This bag was from Philly, and I know I got a lot of batteries in here, nine volt batteries for my uh, for my my uh, monorails. But oh, is it just big ones? Yeah, I think it's just these bigger ones. Actually, are these? Oh no, these are a different size than those other ones. These are smaller, but still a little bit too big for the. Uh, Still a little bit too big for the, oh, I found uh, random heads. That's got to be Citizen Brick right there. Forgot about that. That was from Philly last year. Random heads from Citizen Brick. Forgot about that. Um, I think it's just all, yeah, these are all. Yeah, yeah they're pants, big, big pants. Yeah, these are all these size here. So I got a lot of these ones, but not. I did not know uh, cold water. I did not unfortunately get that. I'm going to have to, uh, I may have to turn to eBay to grab one of those because I did not get that poly bag. I was going to put an order in and then by the time I thought about putting the order in, it was too late. So I, I definitely did not, uh, definitely did not get that. So. So yeah, no, I wasn't. Unfortunately, I wasn't, wasn't able to get that. So um, that and the, and the dog, I got I eighty eight bucks for the dog. You're the dog. I see them on eBay right now for like twenty six dollars. So I'm gonna see if they can come down to about twenty, and maybe I'll get one of those. I'm not really too psyched about that one either. So I may not get one of those either. Who knows? I don't know. But um, the or flash pans. You talking about the flower? The flower one? You talking about the flower uh, pot? poly bag it is a poly bag right yeah it's a poly bag um because i did see one today at tar or yesterday at target i saw another friend's poly bag that's hanging out with the hot dog cart poly bag that is the this looks like a miniature golf i think they've done miniature golf to death on on friends but it looks like another miniature golf poly bag i i don't know i think friends is running out of uh running out of ideas with their uh with their poly bags so that stinks, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to, I don't think, to bag up any more figs tonight. Again, I'll have to run out tomorrow and uh, get some of those little one-hitter bags from uh, from Walmart or Joann's or wherever I can find them that'll have them. So that stinks, though. I was hoping I could bag up some more figs tonight, but looks like that's not going to happen. So, But I guess I'm going to hang out with you guys for a little bit. I'll hang out with you guys for another 20, 25 minutes, and then this is, see, this is where it is. This is where I get thrown in the loop because then i'm like ah well 
I don't have any more bags. I'll just kind of, you know, hang out. And But tomorrow it's supposed to be crappy here. It's supposed to be like 50 degrees tomorrow and rain. So I'm going to be down here probably hanging out and organizing a little bit more. So I'll get all those figs bagged up. And I think I'm going to, is that the 30403? Cheap ass is just blowing up my phone here. I'm like, oh. Oh, bones! I can I can show you poly bag storage. I can actually show you that right now. Uh, it's fantastic. Three oh four oh three. What is that? Is that the one? Oh crap! What is that one? Oh, that's the remote control boat. Is that the one that? Uh, oh, you found that, didn't you? Uh, I think I saw somebody post this. But yeah, it was you, Flash Pants. You posted this. Yeah, you posted this. So that's that's another friend's poly bag. No, there's a there's a miniature golf one that I saw at uh at um at Target this weekend too. So um no wait, Mary Mary Mary, no, we didn't start earlier. This is me. This is me organizing reorganizing reorganizing the asylum. No, this is just a pre-show. I just kind of hopped on. I was hanging out down here by myself trying to get some stuff organized. So I figured I uh would uh you know, go on stream for a little bit for about an hour. Just kind of keep the channel going, you know. Um, all right. So I'm gonna show you guys what how I store my poly bags. Now don't get don't get jealous here because I remember this used to be an old lizard breeding rack. Okay, yeah, lizard breeding rack, guys. You can hashtag whatever you want. This you can meme the crap out of this. Whatever you want to do. There's there's heat tape running throughout this whole thing. There's a plug in the back. It was basically a tank for breeding leopard geckos. So there it is. Full disclosure, it just happened. But this is how it is right now. So there's a pin. And this is what it looks like. So not, I'm going to tell you right now, not the best way to store your poly bags. But you can put a lot of poly bags in a shoebox that was designed to incubate lizards and breed lizards so flats obviously poly bags are so you can actually store a lot of them in here um yeah so i have four six six of these filled up to the top with um my collection and then there's two filled up to the top with just doubles so i have two of these filled up with just my doubles i chris b for c i can't even tell you right now how many i'm at because Literally what these, I've, I've capped these out right now. So these bins are capped out. I don't know what's hanging out in the asylum that I still have to go through and add to the collection. But this right here is, I don't even know. At one point, I think I was at 400, four, four and a quarter, 425. I was at a, I was a lot. I was, I was definitely close to 400 um, poly bags at one point. So. Um, Oh, I don't, I think that's for I don't even what is that next? Isn't that for like super chat? I have no idea what that is. No clue what that is. No idea. All I know is my videos will not be monetized anymore after what tomorrow? The day the nineteenth. After tomorrow, eighteenth. Two more days. No more monetization of videos. Ooh, not gonna make any more money. I think I have. I don't think I've ever cashed out money. Not what, it, not what it's about so but yeah so this is this is my poly bag setup right here so this is what i'm yeah this is where it is currently this was one of my favorite uh, I, this was actually one of the one of the first poly bags that's kind of started to get me back in i bought these at uh at tru i bought a bunch of these i love this poly bag so this was one of my favorite poly bags back in the day the old super secret police enforcer love that poly bag and then i got i think i got this from b B for C, did I get this from you? I think I got this from you, B for C, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm pretty sure I got this from B for C. I know I got a couple of my uh, rare friends poly bags from B for C. And I got this guy. Yeah, this guy, the Lufthansa. I didn't take I didn't take an airplane ride, but I picked it up for a pretty good price back in the day. So and then, you know, the Mylar. See, I got some I got some odd Mylar ones in here too that I don't really I don't even really know if I can consider this a consider this a uh, 
bag or poly bag. It's more of a mylar bag, but oh, the D uh, I think I. I think I have the DJ. I, I might, you know what? Actually, Bones, I might have an. You need the what? The robot DJ? Is that what you, is that the one you're talking about? Because I think I actually have. I might have an extra right here. If that's who you're talking about, you're talking about the robot DJ. I don't know if he's in here, but he's in one of these bags. But yeah, if you're talking about the robot DJ, I may actually have an extra one that I might be able to give, give send out to you. Just let me know if that's the one you're talking about. I'll hook you up. You know, being a supporter of the show for as many years as you have been. Uh, I don't know what's in the bottom of this, but I know I definitely have a couple of the robot DJs. So uh, it is poly poly esque. That is true. That is very true. This old mylar. It's literally just that kicker guy that it's just a ball and then this stomper thing that he just moves his big old leg with. It's six pieces of just awful. I don't even know. Uh, what year are we looking at? 2004. 2004. Yeah, Roboto DJ. Yeah, I, I think I got another one, man. I'll take a look for you. I'll let you know. Um, yeah, I'll definitely let you know. I got. You know, oh, yeah, because I got Pajama. I got Pajama Emmett. So I, I definitely have a couple of each of these. So if you, if you want to hit me up with a DM, just let me know. And if I have an extra one, it's all, it's all for you, my friend. What else I got in here? Oh, yeah, see, there's two. Oh yeah, see, there's one of them right there. Is this the one you? Is that the one you're talking about, Mr. Roboto? I think I actually have another one in the uh, doubles bin. The doubles bin. I actually have a doubles bin of poly bags. So I got Shredder. We got who else? We got there's there's the uh, there's we got Emmett. We got Cowboy Emmett. So yeah, so I got I think I got all the ones that came out with the. Uh, the show, I got a couple shredders. Paul, uh, there's the old uh, Martian Manhunter. Love that one. That's a great one, too. Love the old Martian Manhunter. I wish I would have got more of these when they came out. I definitely like that poly bag, too. I like the one, I like the one figure bags like this, too. I, I got, I wanted to get more of Plastic Man, too, but I only got, I only got one of Plastic Man, too. So, Cowboy M, it's awesome. I may, I don't know. I have to check and see what I can, I can get a, I can see what I got for doubles. I seriously, yeah. The poly bag. What the heck was that? What, what, what the heck was that? What, what, what just happened, Beaver? See, what, what did you just do? I don't even know what just happened. Super chats are a way to support freaking great YouTubers. I, I legitimately did you did you just give me ten dollars? <laughs> did you just give me ten dollars? I will. Uh, I don't even know. Okay, I don't even know what to say. Um, I don't even know where it goes or whatever. But thanks, Beaver C. If that really what it was, but thank you very much. I appreciate that. You you are one of the one of the best in the business, my friend. Best in the best in the community. Always, never, never. Anything bad to say about B4C? He's been there since day one. He's on my original Sig Fig list. All the OGs, the original Sig Fig crew at the Tiki Bar. I may even bring the Tiki Bar to Philly this year just to kind of have it out there because that was what started me off on my uh, on my journey of Lego awesomeness. Was the Tiki Bar? It was my first kind of off the top of my head. I made a Tiki Bar kind of creation through the uh, all my guys that all my Sig Fig guys in it, which was. I don't even know if I could do this now. It's, it's been so, so long time, but it was B for C. It was obviously myself. It was uh, Stackers, uh, Mardi Gras Man 2-3, uh, A-Fold Man was on the list, and gosh, B for C, and then I don't know if there was one more. There might have been one more on that list. It's on my it's on my poster, but it's on my banner. So, But thanks, B for C. You're the man, dude. I appreciate that, man. That, that means a lot to me so that, that's really really cool and again i have no idea what that even is i'll have to look that up and see what super chat i have no clue but for support man you are the best i appreciate it and bones hit me up with a dm brother if you want i'll i definitely have another one i definitely have a double of that dj robot poly bag i can get that out to you and that one will ship for nothing because it's pretty uh it's pretty thin it's only just the just the fig so Mini Ultimate Battle and the Shooter thing. Um, the Oh, the Poly... I don't think I got that one yet. Mini Fig Collector, what's going on, brother? Angry Dragon 114, what's going on, brother? You just popped in here, too. 
How's it going? How's it going? Um, I don't know. I don't know if the uh, I haven't seen the um, I haven't seen the mini ultimate Batmobile yet, and the shooters, and I haven't seen any of those yet around here. So I don't know where those are going to be, but I have not seen those yet. Um, oh, you you got to be for C man. Are you are you going to Philly? You're going to Philly, right? Are you going to be a Philly this year? I hope so. You're going to be a Philly. Let me know. Put it in chat. I want to know. Hook it up because that we got. Figging bricks, B for C, hanging out again, just like gold times. That's going to be good times, my friend, good times. So I'm hoping you're going to come there, build your own tables like you did a couple of years back, and just just kill it, just kill it. Um, Any 80s polys? You're talking like 1980? Are you talking like 1980 Angry Dragon? I think I only have one old, old school poly, and it's uh, um, I think that's Santa Claus, that old school Santa Claus, that poly that's like that big. I think that's from. Um, I want to say it's from eighty. Now you're you're you're, te you're testing me here. You're testing me. I want to say it's eighty eight. Not don't quote me on that. Yes. All right. B for C. Cool. That was that's what I was hoping you'd say, man. As I was hoping you'd say, you and the misses, fantastic. Um, yeah. I don't. I I think the oldest that might be one of the older ones I have. And then I have this one here, which I got from I believe learn. Learned Brick. I want to say Learned Brick. And when they were doing the auctions on the Saturday stream, I actually got this one for a really awesome price. And I really couldn't believe when it came to me how, um, what great shape it's in. I'm trying to find, where the heck, I can't even see, where's the, hang on. Where is the, I just, I know the date is on here, where the heck is it? Oh, so this is, okay, so this is 1996, but. Not 1980, but pretty pretty close to the, pretty close to the early late 80s there. So this is 1996, and this thing is if you look at it, this thing looks as crisp as it as it as it says as, as you can see it. I mean 1996, so we're talking what nine, ten, eleven, one, six, two, 22 years old. This poly bag's 22 years old. Looks like it, you could just pulled it off the shelf today. So that's pretty cool. I think that was from Learn Brick though. Learn Brick sent this instruction book in the inside. Yeah, because you gotta you gotta build those uh, twenty one pieces. You gotta learn how to do those twenty one pieces. So, but that's pretty cool. I, uh, that's probably eighty nine. This is ninety four. Did I say or ninety six? This is ninety six. I think that Santa poly bag is a little bit older than this one. So I think it's eighty eight. I want to say that Santa poly bag is eighty eight. But <laughs> you just all the old lady comment. That's why I said misses. That's why I said misses. Mrs. B for C. That's exactly, exactly. Mrs. B for C is an amazing lady. Hopefully, you guys get to meet her because she's awesome too. She, they both are just the two nicest people you've ever met in your life. So, hopefully, you'll see them. They're they're going to be there. I'm not even going to say hopefully. So, I know they're both going to be there. We're going to hang out. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait. So, that is good stuff. Mary Burrow calls her husband the old man. Hey, I met him. He's an amazing man as well. Man, see, I kept out the old part. Amazing dude as well. Awesome, awesome guy. So very, very cool. Great, great chance. Great stream. Look at this. Great stream, man. It's a fantastic stream. You guys are all awesome. So let me give you guys about another 10 minutes. I'm going to hop off, hop in the pre-show for the uh, Hauling and Ballin'. We'll get it going. Guys, spoiler, I'm not going to, I don't know what we're doing with guest poo tonight, but I do have some ideas. I'm going to have some good guesses out there, some good uh, hints. So it'll be, we're going to get a winner tonight and it's not going to be it's not going to be Brick Revolution. We're going to we want to give away that Hulk uh, Helicarrier breakout set. So we're going to give that away. Hopefully we can give that away too. So um, and that's for again just whoever catches the most guest poo. So that's pretty cool stuff too. Um, what was I going to show you guys before that? I was talking about something else, and I was going to get up and show something, and then we got to talking about poly bags. Um, what was that? Oh, bones. Somebody said something. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something. What was what was it? Uh, organization we were talking about <laughs> i don't even think i have the geisha girl actually cold water i definitely don't even think i have the geisha girl um the uh bones i think we decided we were gonna have bubba on the show tonight but i think because of all the there's a lot of news that hit with all the you know with all the toy fair sets and the potter and, and everything that's kind of going on um, I think we're going to, we're going to push Bubba till next week and we're going to start it out next week, just cause there's a lot of stuff we want to talk about this weekend or this week on the show Sunday today. 
So we're just, yeah, I think we're going to, we push Bubba off. He's watching the NASCAR race. So he thought it, the NASCAR race might not be over in time. So he says like, it works out really well. He was okay with it. We're okay with it. So we're going to push him off till the, uh, till next week. And then we're going to, uh, yeah, getting a lot of stuff between the CMF series and uh, the rumors around that and stuff like that. There's just a lot of, a lot of good stuff going on in the community. Plus all the sets that dropped um, at the toy fair. So there's just a lot of good stuff to talk about. Plus guess poo. Guess poo takes at least, five ten eight minutes whatever it takes to to do that so we'll get through that and um i, I will say that's not going to be it won't be aquaman it's definitely not going to be aquaman so it's not going to be aquaman i'm not and i'm not just saying that because it's going to be aquaman but cold water if you want to guess aquaman the first right off the rip have at it it won't be aquaman though i can definitely tell you that and now that i bagged up all my cmf figs i may throw you guys a complete curveball it may be a theme fig we might do theme fig tonight just because Everything's bagged up on the side here. Could be a Potter fig. You never know. Could be a Potter. I might throw Harry Potter in there. Oh, Unikitty. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of the of that news. But again, I don't. I watched. I'll be honest. I watched the cartoon twice, maybe three times, and I don't know. It's it. It's all right. But I don't know how I'm trying to. I'm trying to see the figures and the characters and how that they're going to make the. Uh, Make them out of Lego. I mean, some of them you can see look like have Lego pieces. Obviously, Unikitty is the one that, you know, has the, and this is actually the version of the uh, one from the show because this is Minifig FX did this up. So this is actually the version from the show. But the other characters don't seem to have uh, Lego-like pieces. So I, I don't know how they're going to do it. It'll be interesting to see. So that's good that's definitely we'll we'll see again if and it's cmf it's if it's a cmf series i'm gonna have to buy it because again i have nine to current you know just happens <laughs> no everybody no nobody's bad at guess poo it's, it's just I, I, i'll tell you what though it is it is a lot different when i'm throwing clues out there if you got if you guys can listen to clues they're usually pretty easy, especially this week. I'm gonna I'm gonna get because we need to get a winner. We'll get a winner this week, but it's all about the clues. So the clue master will give you guys some good clues, and you guys hopefully somebody will get this this week. So yeah, you're not gonna yeah. It, it's again, I I you're gonna you're that's gonna end your streak of uh of CMFs is gonna be the Unikitty series. I don't know. I, I might not get it either. Honestly, when I see it, if it's really that if it's really that awful, maybe I won't get it. Would you say flash pants? I had Star Wars in the desk. What what Star Wars? Where where did you see that? I got Star Wars everywhere. Flash pants. I legitimately went Star Wars crazy with my, the minifigs that I have. So, Jurassic. Yep. Uh, yes, definitely the Jurassic Park set. I'm I'm excited about that. Definitely good for the Jurassic Park series. That whole series. Hopefully they're going to do that classic Jurassic Park set with the original figs. So that's that's good stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try that out and uh, yeah so we'll see what happens. Um, Adaptoid Productions. Um, I, I don't know if why why we're asking about M and R Productions. Um, not on not on the stream he has at least he hasn't been in the chat i don't know i know i think he's, I think he was in our chat last week though i think he was uh, asking some good stuff in our chat last week so um he pops in and out he usually pops in and out um so yeah i definitely we definitely see him in and out of the chat so he's uh, i don't think he's here now though but welcome to the show i, I gotta give you guys another six minutes and like i said i'm gonna pop out of here and uh go to the um go into the pre-show for hauling and balling and we'll come back on the other side in another half hour We'll set it up for hauling and balling. So um, maybe I'll cut it. I'll cut it now because I got to get the, every, the stream set up and everything like that. So uh, um, thanks, guys, for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Again, thanks, P for C for that. I really appreciate that, man. Totally un unnecessary, but again, it'll go to a good. Uh, maybe it'll go buy my bags. It'll buy more of these uh, plastic bags that I can start. I'm um, starting to organize with. So um, again, thanks, guys, for tuning in. I really appreciate all the support. Um, continue to like, comment, subscribe on my channel, and remember, life is better with Lego. Have a good night. See you in Holland and Balling, guys.